This is bedded. <laughs> Let's fix that. That's a little bit better. Good morning. This is a really beautiful spot. Woke up to a little bit of rain and a rainbow. What a sweet spot we have, eh? This is similar to something that we would normally look for on iOverlander when we're traveling in our van, except there are no iOverlander spots on the map here no. in Puerto Rico. Wild camping, no cost. Come on, let's go to the beach. <laughs> <laughs> wow, so beautiful. I love the ocean. Oh wow, the weather changes. <laughs> We hardly made it down the beach. <laughs> oh, it's pouring. We gotta go back. basically a current of water that is flowing like a river in between breaking waves away from shore. So if you get caught in a rip, oftentimes it pulls you out away from the shore. It's known that you shouldn't fight the current and you should just try and swim not towards shore but to the left or the, rather the right and make your way back if you can. Jasmine is completely obsessed with her coconut water. I've never seen her drink it before. But ever since coming to Puerto Rico, she doesn't go anywhere without it. a two minute drive and we've reached one of the more popular beaches with restaurants, surf for beginners called Hobos Beach. This is beautiful. In the shade of the sun. Sun. In the sun? Sun. <laughs> When in Puerto Rico, you need to try the piña colada because they invented it right here on the island and they're huge exporters of rum. If you're into rum, the Bacardi Distillery exports the largest amount of rum worldwide right from Puerto Rico. So good. I'm not normally a rum drinker, but you actually can't taste it in this. All I taste is mainly like the pineapple in it and the coconut cream. And I'm in love with coconut right now. And the best part, it's cooling me right down. Wow. <laughs> what someone plant-based eats in Puerto Rico, fried plantains, similar to a banana kind of, and plain rice. It's child-proof. Yeah, liter literally child-proof. It already seems spicy just by what it comes in. <laughs> Are you on fire? Fire, but it tastes so good, I love it. <laughs> That's all you need. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It was extremely kind of you. Oh, yeah. Traveling by van, I always forget the experience that you have while in an Uber. We 
we just got a full tour by Maria. This is the Atlantic Ocean. And this is part of the Bermuda Triangle. So it, it said, the history said, that this part of the island, Ocean One, is the most deepest place in the ocean. Are you serious? Oh, that's yes. cool. Wow, the Bermuda Triangle. It's so great to see someone so happy in their job. That was so cute. Maria is the best Uber driver ever. Five stars. <laughs> Full tour, love it. You don't even need Google when you have Maria. Today we are in San Juan. Because we booked this trip entirely last minute, today we are without a van because someone else is out there enjoying it, but we got our van tomorrow. But today we're doing it with our own two feet. standing here in the plaza everything is just so colorful vibrant and loud the music is just an amazing feature I, I love how much Puerto Ricans love their music it's almost overwhelming for the senses in such a good way um, I, yeah I, I love Puerto Rico already <laughs> the people have just been so incredibly kind and just standing here watching everyone dance and the music is such a vibe gate actually acted as a border in the 1500s to the 1800s if you're coming in from Spain. Looks like a little bit of a different border crossing than we're used to nowadays. Yeah, border services. Walking through the cobblestone streets of Old San Juan is truly like going back in time. It's such an incredible feeling. You can feel the rich history and the Puerto Rican culture all around you. I love the blue washed walls and all of the colors. It's truly really something special. If you find yourself in Puerto Rico, definitely a lot some time for the old San Juan neighborhood. It's messy. Crystal's obsessed with cats. Fruit. So like flavorful. Fresh juice. Wow, it is so fresh. On a hot summer day. On a hot summer day. Well, it's kind of winter. <laughs> but it's warm. Summer dust. A vegan empanada. Can you believe it? It's like a coconut cinnamon. Hello. Hi. Good morning. Morning. <laughs> Last night we stayed in this beautiful Airbnb right in the heart of Old San Juan, and now we're off to get our new van. Hola. Hola. We got. Digging Van Gogh. Van Gogh is sick. Can't wait to show you. It feels so good to be back in a van. I love how in van life you can literally just have everything with you. When we were packing up at that Airbnb, we were like, wow, we have so much stuff. And it's, you don't realize you have all this stuff when you're in a van because everything has a home. We were out of the van for one night <laughs> and it felt like forever. I just love van life. Same. It's an amazing way to travel. Like, I just, right. I'm so happy to be back in the van. I feel alive. Woo! Biggie. You know we're back in a big van because we're all rocking. That little van just took corners and took everything so smooth. It just ripped. It ripped, it did rip. And here we are again. beautiful that's a massive iguana we just pulled over Jasmine jumped out and it literally oh my gosh it's beautiful the reptiles here are plentiful those that's iguana we're 
at the best underwater place in all of Rincon. Going back to Canada, be cool. <laughs> enjoy your weekend. Thank you. Yeah, enjoy that weekend. We decided while in Puerto Rico, and since we want to spend a lot of time in the ocean, why not get set up with some snorkeling gear? We did purchase some in the past in Mexico, but we bought it at the supermarket and it was plastic, extremely uncomfortable, and it really didn't do what it was supposed to do. It just filled up with water and you had big marks on your face. I'm pretty sure they were only like five or ten dollars, so this time, we upgraded a little bit and it should make our experience in the water safer and a lot more fun. Here she comes. My love, thank you. Iced oat, iced oat latte. Oh yeah. Exciting news. Thank you to Omaze for sponsoring a portion of today's video. Omaze gives away one-of-a-kind prizes and while doing so, donates money to charities all around the world. We're partnering with Omaze to give away an Airstream Interstate 24X. It's a custom configurable coach that blends luxurious amenities with off-road capabilities. There's some really amazing features that I have to mention, like having air conditioning, a full-size kitchen and bathroom, expansive solar, and six all-terrain tires. Tires always excite me to no end, because if I was in that driver's seat, I'd be taking it to a beach like this one or to a beautiful national park. Every entry supports the Jimmy Johnson Foundation, who's dedicated to assisting children, families, and communities through throughout the United States. The foundation's primary focus right now is K-12 public education, primarily through their Champions Grant program. For your chance to win an Airstream Interstate 24X and support a great cause, go to amaze.com forward slash fanwives or click the link in the description. You look like Bambi. Like a little baby deer, learn how to walk for the first time. That was super fun. I actually really enjoyed it because my face doesn't hurt and I didn't yeah. get water in my mask and you can or go in under. my mouth. And you can go under. Yeah, I was sick. So like the way that this is built is oh. that you can hold your breath and go under water with, and you don't get water in your mouth. And this back part doesn't, doesn't pull your hair. It's the best, like it's, it changes the experience. I don't think that there's any activity anywhere that makes you more hungry than being in the water. <laughs> it's dinner time. So I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit terrified of the ocean. Like at first I put my snorkel on and full on forgot how to breathe. Don't ask me why. But then you're just like, I was like, okay, we're not gonna look at fish right now. We're not doing anything. All we're gonna do is breathe. And then I was like, this is fine. Like. You just get, I get in my head sometimes with the ocean. But like, I want to become a better swimmer and I want to get better at being in the ocean. Well, you we gotta keep doing it then. Yeah, yeah. I was just thinking about sharks. <laughs> You're thinking about sharks? I was like hoping to see a shark. Same. I'm not scared of Same. sharks, are no, you? No, 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 like I, I wanted to see think one. So. Okay. I wanted to see one. I want to see one too. I was like, what would I do if I saw a shark right now? And then I said, well, I hope I'd have the GoPro so I could take footage yeah. and I would be one with it. Yep. I always said if it bit me too, that it's a cool story, right? <laughs> Hello, 10 snorkel. So much fun. <laughs> I seriously can't get over that we're parked right here beside the ocean watching some surfers. There's just black bean tacos, cabbage, carrots, pico de gallo. Thank you for dinner. Isn't it great how much we're eating beans? Yeah, this is one thing I love about traveling is we actually eat a lot more simple, more healthier. like healthier. It's amazing. It's I mean, the rainbow. As much as I feel really safe in Puerto Rico, we do have a rule that when it gets dark, we shut all the doors, we lock up, and we're in for the night.
Surfers are funny humans. They're already out, okay? They love the ocean. arrived in Barranque this morning we're heading south but we had to stop here to take a few photos it is such a quiet little village on the ocean and the water reflects that it is silent and peaceful here today yeah but yeah underneath the surface it is busy so many little fish and big fish actually uh, seems like a really good place to snorkel we're always on the hunt for a new spot now so under the sea, under the sea. Wow. Do you see the little pointers, Jazzy? Wow, eh? So cool. Welcome to the Cabo Rojo Salt Flats. This area is extremely vast. There's about 1,250 acres of salt production. If you've never seen a salt flat before, you're probably wondering how all of these multicolored and even pink lakes produce salt. Well, it's a very fascinating procedure where they fill these pools with saline ocean waters and allow the sun and the wind to evaporate the water, which then crystallizes into salt, which we then use on our food and for other commercial purposes. Salt has been mined here in these exact pools by the indigenous of Puerto Rico long before the Spanish got here, dating back to 700 AD. As we walk around, not only are there large pieces of debris, but there's a lot of microplastics. It is just another very obvious reminder that the oceans are in trouble. And on that note, it's also very important to talk about how the rising tides are actually destroying the salt flats and it's happening very rapidly. The entire ecosystems are being washed out. Part of the reason that we're sharing this as well is because this place could be very dreamy and we could leave all of those important details out, but it's the reality of where we are and what's going on here. We've made it to the most southern point of Puerto Rico. We are actually entering into the Cabo Rojo Wildlife Refuge. This is the southernmost part of all of Puerto Rico. It looks out to the Caribbean Sea. You've got crystal clear waters and a beautiful lighthouse in the middle of a wildlife refuge. Hiking in the Caribbean is just so different. There's so many different sounds, the ocean, the birds, the insects. It's truly something else. Oh. Whoa, look at that crab. What? Look at the crab. Although the water and the beach is definitely calling our name, we have a hike in mind for today. So to get there, you have to start by hiking all the way around this beautiful crescent. And it looks like there are tons of trails around here. So I genuinely think you could hike for hours if you wanted to. But I'd be prepared because it's damn hot. Hey, yeah, we've got water, right? One soda water. One kind of. soda water. <laughs> Thankful when there's some shade. Oh. Just the open ocean. Nothing, nothing but ocean. <laughs> don't look down, it's a little spooky. Oh, I don't like that. That's a little, little spooky. You did it, good job. Thanks. There's gonna be a lot of wows, and this is so beautiful. This is stunning because there's simply not enough words to describe where we are right now. All right, Crystal, who was right? You were right. Yeah. So there's a beautiful landmark that we want to see here in Cabo Rojo. And after looking at the map, I convinced Jasmine it was on this side. We've now been walking for an hour and it's over there. Well, we made it halfway around the beach thus far. Ah! 
Okay, now back to regular programming. We finally made it to the natural bridge in Cabo Rojo. This area is so unique and the landscape speaks for itself. It is a rugged coastline with limestone rock that has a slight red color to it and the contrast against the Caribbean blue sea is absolutely stunning. See you all next Sunday. Join us for our last week in Puerto Rico where we attempt to leave the island. So we're not going anywhere. What? Forget to head to amaze.com forward slash vanwives for your chance to win an Airstream Interstate 24X.